The federal sex trafficking investigation involving music mogul Sean Diddy Combs is expanding. All people that love the truth gotta be happy if the truth coming out and lies is getting exposed. TGJ, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. Videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include T.D. Jakes. I heard he, he said that he's 68 years old, he's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. If everything was true, all I gotta do is repent. True repentance is not just saying I'm sorry. Anybody can say I'm sorry. Homeland Security Investigations agents made a dramatic entrance into P. Diddy's residence, brandishing their weapons as they executed a search warrant. The scene was intense as they swept through the property, swiftly removing several individuals found inside. The operation extended beyond mere presence. They seized numerous electronic devices believed to hold crucial evidence. These devices, subject to court-authorized searches, are speculated to contain potentially scandalous information regarding P. Diddy's connections with various celebrities, including T.D. Jakes. These celebrities have recently been dragged into the spotlight due to court filings linked to music producer Rodney Jones's whopping $30 million lawsuit against P. Diddy. Jones launched his lawsuit on February 26, throwing out serious accusations against P. Diddy, including allegations of sexual misconduct and grooming. The legal battle has now roped in some big names, adding a spicy twist to the drama. However, lawyers representing P. Diddy are fighting back fiercely, vehemently denying all the claims and boldly stating they possess overwhelming, rock-solid evidence proving Jones's accusations are nothing but pure lies. In the filing submitted to the Federal District Court in New York, Jones lays out a detailed account of his allegations. One significant claim suggests that individuals associated with P. Diddy financially benefited from facilitating his alleged unlawful behavior, gaining access to his powerful connections. Among the celebrities mentioned in the lawsuit is T.D. Jakes. While Jakes is not directly implicated in any wrongdoing, the court documents assert that through P. Diddy's fame, Jakes purportedly gained access to a wide array of notable personalities, including famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and even international dignitaries like British Royal Prince Harry. However, it's crucial to note that Jakes himself is not accused of any misconduct in the lawsuit. According to the filings, Jones alleges that P. Diddy allegedly intended to utilize his relationship with T.D. Jakes to mitigate the fallout from Cassie Ventura's lawsuit, thereby potentially softening the impact on his public image. These developments unfold against the backdrop of federal authorities reportedly raiding properties linked to P. Diddy in Los Angeles, California, and Miami, Florida. Despite these swirling allegations and investigations, it's important to emphasize that Diddy vehemently denies any wrongdoing and has not faced criminal charges. In a resolute statement, he pledges to vigorously defend his reputation and the truth itself. The unfolding events paint a picture of intrigue and suspense, leaving the public on the edge of their seats, eagerly awaiting any revelations that may emerge from this high-profile investigation. T.D. Jakes is seen by many as a pastor and spiritual leader of his congregation, who holds a position of influence and authority within his community, so it's no doubt why his involvement in the allegations surrounding P. Diddy has raised eyebrows and prompt concerns. I speak that which I know, what you, what you okay man, and I testify to what I see. What you see? All, the, all that other stuff that he's accused of, I don't know nothing about. Right. I, I don't know whether he was doing the sloppy toppy. That's right. I don't know that. I don't know who he was playing house with. That's I don't know. That's right. I don't know none of that. Right. But one thing I do know, I do know <laughs> that's right. that he was at Diddy's party mm -hmm. because he was dumb enough. They videotaped him. Videotaped. He took a picture with Diddy. Diddy laid his hand, his head on him. My lord. He did a sign language with Diddy. My lord. He sat there at the table with a champagne glass there. Mm. So all I can do is speak what I know. What you know. All that other stuff. I heard he, he said that he's 68 years old. He's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. Am I right, man? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, take it. <laughs> Jakes, I want you to hear this. Amen. That's just a bold-faced lie. That's right. Man, 68 years old, you ain't nothing but a baby compared to them in the Bible. That's right. So you're not too old no. to be a freak. No, no. T.D. Jakes should have avoided entanglements with individuals who lead sinful lifestyles, especially those facing serious legal allegations like P. Diddy. 
As pastors, they are expected to uphold high moral standards and integrity. Associating with individuals involved in legal controversies, particularly those with allegations of serious misconduct, can tarnish a pastor's reputation and call into question their moral compass. Perception is crucial in leadership, particularly in spiritual matters. Even if T.D. Jakes is not directly implicated in any wrongdoing, his association with P. Diddy amid such scandalous allegations may create the appearance of impropriety, undermining trust and credibility among his followers. Pastors have a responsibility to safeguard the spiritual well-being of their congregation. Getting involved with individuals like P. Diddy, who are facing serious legal troubles, could inadvertently expose members of the congregation to questionable influences or ethical dilemmas. T. D. Jakes, as a public figure, is entrusted with the faith and trust of his followers. Engaging with individuals involved in high-profile legal battles may erode public trust and confidence in his leadership, potentially leading to disillusionment among his supporters. Pastors are called to shepherd their flock and provide spiritual guidance and support. Involvement in legal controversies or high-profile scandals can detract from this primary mission, diverting attention and resources away from the spiritual needs of the community. While some claim T.D. Jakes may have crossed paths with P. Diddy through various social circles or professional engagements, it's imperative for pastors to exercise caution and discernment in their associations, particularly when those associations involve individuals facing serious legal allegations. By prioritizing moral integrity, protecting the flock, and preserving public trust, pastors can continue to serve as spiritual guides and pillars of moral authority within their communities. The association between T.D. Jakes and P. Diddy, especially amidst swirling allegations and potential evidence of their close relationship, could have several negative impacts both on T.D. Jakes himself and on the broader community. T.D. Jakes's association with P. Diddy, particularly in the context of serious legal allegations and potential evidence of wrongdoing, could tarnish his reputation and credibility. Members of his congregation and the public may question his judgment and moral standing, potentially leading to a loss of trust and support. As an influential figure within the religious community, T.D. Jakes wields significant influence over his followers. However, his association with someone like P. Diddy, who is embroiled in scandal and legal trouble, could diminish his ability to effectively lead and guide his congregation. People may be less inclined to heed his counsel or follow his teachings if they perceive him as being compromised by his associations. Trust is indispensable in any leadership role, especially in matters of faith and spirituality. The disclosure of concealed truths or unethical behavior involving P. Diddy could undermine the trust that T.D. Jakes may have nurtured with his congregation publicly. People may feel betrayed or disillusioned if they perceive that T.D. Jakes was aware of or complicit in any wrongdoing. If evidence surfaces linking T.D. Jakes to any illicit activities or unethical behavior involving P. Diddy, he could face legal repercussions. Even if he is not directly implicated in any wrongdoing, mere association with individuals involved in criminal activities or scandals could attract unwanted attention from law enforcement or regulatory authorities. A pastor should embody traits of moral integrity, humility, compassion, and wisdom, striving to be a guiding light and a source of spiritual support for their congregation and community. T.D. Jakes should have prioritized these qualities and avoided getting close to individuals like P. Diddy, whose lifestyle and associations are contrary to the values and principles of the scriptures. A pastor should uphold high moral standards in their personal and professional life. By maintaining distance from individuals like P. Diddy, who may be involved in questionable or unethical behavior, T. D. Jakes could have demonstrated his commitment to moral integrity and ethical conduct. Pastors have a unique opportunity to positively impact the lives of those around them through their words, actions, and relationships. By surrounding himself with individuals who exemplify values such as honesty, kindness, and integrity, T.D. Jakes could have fostered a more positive and uplifting influence within his social circle and community. A pastor should be accountable not only to their congregation but also to their own conscience and faith principles. By steering clear of associations that could compromise his integrity or lead him astray from his moral compass, T.D. Jakes could have upheld a greater sense of accountability in his leadership role. Discernment is essential for pastors to navigate the complexities of human relationships and societal influences. By exercising discernment in his associations and being mindful of the potential impact on his reputation and ministry, T.D. Jakes could have made wiser choices that aligned more closely with his values and beliefs. T.D. Jakes should have strived to embody the qualities of a virtuous and principled pastor, leading by example and cultivating an environment of spiritual growth, moral integrity, and positive influence. 
by maintaining a healthy distance from individuals like P. Diddy, whose lifestyle and associations conflict with biblical principles, T.D. Jakes could have better upheld his role and responsibilities as one who calls himself a pastor. The unfolding saga involving P. Diddy, the allegations, and T.D. Jakes Association highlights the delicate balance pastors must maintain between their spiritual leadership roles and their interactions with the broader world. The dramatic entrance of Homeland Security Investigations agents into P. Diddy's residence, followed by legal battles and swirling allegations, has tarnished the reputations of those involved, including T.D. Jakes. As a pastor, T.D. Jakes should have prioritized moral integrity, accountability, and discernment in his associations, avoiding individuals like P. Diddy embroiled in controversy and legal troubles. Despite the allure of celebrity and influence, T.D. Jakes could have better served his congregation and community by remaining steadfast in guiding others on their spiritual journey and upholding the principles of his faith-based ministry. The negative impact of T.D. Jakes' association with P. Diddy, along with the potential revelations of hidden secrets and unethical behavior, underscores the importance of leaders safeguarding their reputation, influence, and moral compass. Moving forward, it is imperative for pastors like T.D. Jakes to learn from this episode, recommitting themselves to the values of integrity, humility, and leadership. By doing so, they can continue to inspire and uplift those they serve, navigating the complexities of the world with wisdom, grace, and unwavering faith. If you found value in this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future posts. Explore our other videos currently displayed on screen. Remember to live a life pleasing to God, filled with prayer and fasting. Thank you for watching. So if you've enjoyed this episode of Truth Seeker Hub, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for upcoming posts. Thank you for watching.